Okay, um, welcome to um, this week's class. So this week, uh, we will talk about calculations. So calculation is very important in Tableau and also in other BI tools, and also is a little bit uh, complicated. So calculations are important because when we have the data, so sometimes the data that we really need to analysis may not be immediately available. So remember that when we want to visualize the unit price, and we need to do a calculation where we need price divided by the area so that we have the field of the unit price. So that is a very simple um, calculation in Tableau. So that calculation allows us to manipulate the data in any number of the ways. And uh, this is also similar to Python, that the functions that can be applied for numbers, for strings, for date, and also for other type like tables or the views of the tables. Um, calculations are created by defining a formula, use those functions or those basic operations. Okay, uh, so there are a lot of functions in Tableau and we cannot cover all those functions. So the only way is to go to Tableau online to search those functions when you need. And there are re regular calculations. So for example, the one that we calculated yeah, the unit price is one type of the regular calculation, which is handled by the data source. So that means that when Tableau okay, knows that the user needs this result, the user will send out the query to the database or data warehouse etc. And the database or data warehouse will do the calculation and it will return the result to Tableau and Tableau will give that to provide the data that on those visualizations. So that is a regular calculation. Uh, we also have the table calculation which is very convenient. So the, those table cal calculation means that when you have those visualizations like a bar chart, pie chart, etc. You can also do a very quick calculation within this chart. Okay, so for example, if you want to have a running total, okay, depending on the view of the current, depending on the data in the current view, so that is called table, uh, tab, table calculation, and that is done within Tableau. So Tableau will do the, do the work for you. Okay, uh, so the syntax. Uh, the syntax is pretty straightforward. Um, especially that if you have learned Python, so the syntax in Tableau should be easy to understand. So basically you need to know those functions and here you can check those available functions. The fields and also the parameters are just like variables that are defined by surrounded by those brackets. Okay, so the variables and those parameters. And they also have those standard operators like plus, minus, and also those logic operators, etc. So it, those are similar in Python. Um, if you want to use the strings numbers, and you can declare a number just by types of numbers, string is declared by this quotation mark. Um, date are declared by this hashtag. Boolean data just true or false. Non data is just none. Okay, again, that is also similar as Python. And if you want to add comments, and you can just use the just two forward slash, so that will be considered comments and will be ignored in, in the calculations. So this is a very simple example of doing the calculation where we can say we are using the if function, okay? And uh, we, we are returning the result to this uh, size class filter and the existing field are in this uh, square bracket and you can use those operators and you can use those uh, numbers and also the strings okay again there are a lot of basic functions available on tableau so like for the date functions where you can create a new date field remember that in the twitter lab we created the date Okay, and also time field. You can also use existing functions to do some analysis and I will show you an example later. The logic functions can be used in the calculation 
the calculate the field calculation can also be used in the filters. Okay, um, there are also string functions and also number functions. So for the number functions, I won't highlight this zn function. So zn function will take any numbers. Okay, so if those are numbers like one, two, three, four, it will return the number itself. However, if in some case, if you have none value, okay, and the zn will return zero. So zn will convert none value into zero. Okay, so that is very useful in some cases. Especially when you create calculate ratios and you know that some you have some missing data and you don't have one have errors and you can use this zn functions. And that there are also some other uh, type conversion functions. Um, so for example, you can convert string into numbers or you can convert numbers into strings. Okay, so let's see some examples in Tableau. Okay, so this is a lab one workbook so that we are using the diamond data. So remember that we can calculate a field here. Let's see that size class. And here you can see there are different types of functions. So for numbers, okay, and for strings, date, for logic. And you can see check if, and you can see the uh, help information. Those are very, um, uh, I think, um, straightforward. Let's see if weight is greater than 0.5, okay, and then we will return that as big. Okay, else we'll put that as small and okay, uh, so that is a very simple field calculation. So now if for example if we bring the readers, okay, and we bring the average price and we can put the class size, okay. So that we can use those calculated filter. Uh, we can also uh, do some calculations uh, in the uh, in the columns on in the rows directly. So for example, here I want to calculate the sum of the price divide sum of the weight. Okay, so now I have a, another result that for this one. So that is a, a very simple uh, field calculation. Uh, sorry, calculation, uh, uh, yes, in the shelf. OK, uh, as I also said that we can also apply the logic calculation in the filters. So for example, uh, if I bring the reader into the filter and go to the condition, I say here I want the average of the weight is greater than 0.5. OK, and now let's see how that look like. So now you can see one of the field of the reader has been filled out because we are using this logic um, calculation in this uh, filter. OK, so let's switch to another uh, workbook where we used um, the ticket data set. I'm using this one because uh, it has a date field. We have for the sales, we have the sale time. And for the listing table, we have the listing time. So remember that for each single uh, event, we list uh, the tickets that for sale probably on Monday. And some tickets has been sold on Tuesday, and some tickets has been sold on Wednesday. OK, so here I want to know that how many days has been passed to sell those tickets. So to do that, I can create a new uh, field calculation and I call it time between list and sale. So here I, I want to use um, the date calculation where I want to use a date difference. Okay, so it will return the difference between two dates. Okay, so I double click that one and you can see the first parameter is the time interval. So I want to use days. The second one is the starter date. Uh, here I'm using the listing time. Okay, 
because normally we list it first and sold later. OK, now we click OK. So now we have the time that uh, been sold depending on days. And now let's look at for the category. Uh, so here we are able to create a bar chart. OK, uh, let's use the average, so not use a total. OK, so it is very important to use the right aggregations. OK, and we can see that uh, for shows, it normally will take more than 10 days on average. And for concert, it also will take about more, more than 10 days. And if we expand this one a little bit, so that we remember we have this um, hierarchy. And uh, so now if we sort the date, and we can see that for the opera, it will take uh, less than 10 days. OK, so this is just a very quick demo of the basic uh, functions and calculations in Tableau.